the activities could be coordinated? I think that should be a big deal uh, after, uh, because we, uh, it has been just spoken, I think, not about two weeks, three weeks back. And on your Independence Day, I think it was the Indian Independence Day on the 15th of August, so today is uh, not even a month. One month. One month. So in one month, you want the whole world to change. No, no, uh, it will take yeah, time, yeah. but we will move towards that. Yeah, we will. So you're thinking on the we are very much uh, not thinking, we are doing a lot and uh, we are almost on that line. Anybody else has a question? Sir, a little bit about Pakhtuns of Pakistan, if you can shed some light. Uh, I think the Pakhtuns are our brothers and uh, we are living with them since 350 years. We have we've got bread generations with them. And uh, it's not uh, from now, since uh, my great grandfather's time, uh, Nasir Khan, and on the other hand, it was uh, Ahmad Khan, and who became Ahmad Shah Dari, the ruler of Afghanistan. And uh, the Baruch, we helped them in getting independence of Afghanistan. You understand? And since then, we've got also blood relations uh, with the Afghans. Our first relation was uh, between Nasir Khan, our family, and Ahmad Shah Abdali's family. And other than that, during, let's say, the past 18, 19 generations, my mother is uh, King Zahir Shah's uh, first cousin, and my grandmother, my father's uh, mother is King Amanullah's first cousin. So uh, we've got uh, blood relations. Other than this, but in other tribes also, my uh, brother, one of them, is married in the Jogesis, again a tribe from uh, North uh, uh, Baluchistan. My other younger brother is married to a Tari, and same goes for our tribes. They are intermarried, basically, uh, with uh, Afghans. So I, we don't have an issue with Afghans or Pashtuns or whatever, whether it's our land, whether it's our blood boundaries, whether it's our history, tradition, culture, or uh, like relationship. Okay. So, I have a question, respected Khan Sahib. You in your capacity as Khan of Kalat, so what is your response to the Chinese government that they uh, are you know uh, already announced this CPC project and they are already there inside Baluchistan with respect to Gawadar, Rekotek and Sender project. So what is your you know, special response to the Chinese government? What they shall do at this stage? Basically China is a very big power, almost trying to be number one in the world. <coughs> Uh, we are a very small uh, nation, but uh, we are in their path, of course. And uh, I think we don't have a direct uh, problem with the Chinese, but we have a Chinese uh, problem because they are going through the wrong uh, uh, people or they are going through the occupiers. So uh, I've also said it uh, before uh, that uh, we have got no other choice uh, to stop them basically if uh, uh, we get uh, our uh, support because we don't want our land to be uh, stolen because they are paying the price uh, but the Punjabi is taking the price and as far as the CPEC is concerned they call it the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor as far as the Baloch are concerned they call it the China Punjab Economic Corridor. This is what we think about uh, China. So, directly we don't have a problem with them, but uh, yes, because they are going through uh, our uh, occupiers. So we have a problem with our occupier and because he's going through them. So, we will also try to resist them whatever we can in our. Uh, very small, but uh, like uh, ant and an elephant sort of a situation. But even an uh, ant can be like the cause of death of an elephant. We can, I can say that. Other than that, an ant is very small. Thank you. Anybody else?
anybody else? Uh, you have been meeting with some Pakistani official about, according to some newspaper. If you. I haven't uh, uh, met with any Pakistan official. I have met with my Baloch in the capacity of Baloch. And I will keep on meeting those Baloch uh, in the capacity of Baloch because they are my people. I haven't uh, met any Punjabi or any Muslim. Mr. Salman is very part of the uh, government of uh, Balochistan? Yes, he, he might be part of uh, anything, but he, he hasn't uh, yet been uh, Mia Salamla Zeri is in Baloch. When he becomes Mia, we will see. Yes, of course, he is responsible for his own acts. That he has to answer. It's not that he can, but as far as I am concerned, I am. That is my nation. They are good and bad. They are all kind of people in a nation. Nice, not nice, very bad and very good. And some individuals, so I can't just... Uh, it's their, uh, what do you call it, as I said, politics and religion. Everybody is answerable for himself. He will be answerable one day to the Baloch, yes. But as far as I am concerned, they are my children, they are good children, bad children in the same house. Naughty children, mischievous children. So one of them is maybe naughty and mischievous, maybe a little bit more, but not all. So what about the terrorism, uh, religious terrorism in Pakistan? As far as religious terrorism is concerned, it's basically the state that is involved in it. And uh, the state is, uh, has given uh, space, training ground, uh, harboring the Taliban and uh, like you heard about the Quetta Shura, very, uh, everyone even in every western uh, capital has heard about it. So they are, the state is harboring them and even uh, the lawyers uh, that were uh, murdered uh, a month and a half or two back uh, in which they, uh, that organization was also harbored by the state whether it's the Tariq uh, Taliban in Afghanistan or Sepai Sahaba or Jaish e Muhammad or And uh, uh, maybe even, uh, I, I don't know about uh, Islamic State because uh, still it's uh, very new, we haven't heard it over there, but organizers, organizations, other religious organizations who are involved in sectarian terrorism, Taliban is directly involved in uh, Afghanistan, they are harbored, trained, financed, equipped. Same goes for uh, Lashkar-e Tayyaba, same goes for Jaish e Muhammad, they are all there. And uh, so uh, that is being used by the state, basically, the state of Pakistan. Now it has, I think, time has come that the world uh, has realized and should uh, like, uh, do something about it and declare it a rogue uh, terrorist state, especially uh, uh, the the people uh, terrorists in uniforms uh, that are involved in terrorism in not only uh, India, Afghanistan, but I think in other uh, uh, countries of the world also. Thank you. Anybody has a question? Yeah, uh, now it's a lot of talk about the national question. question. <coughs> is it, isn't it also a, a class question? Because the oppression is, uh, it's rest in exploitation. <coughs> so, for me, I think that no, no solution can be done under a uh, system of capitalism. Uh, because it's, the exploitation in, is in, in that system and it's also in the occupation and everything. Uh, so, isn't it also, also important to talk about what society will be built after a national liberation? What, uh, how, how can people take control of national resources, gas, oil, uh, and so, so on, so the country can be uh, 
rebuild and, 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 the, and the country's wealth uh, go into infrastructure and, and welfare and so on? Basically, uh, I think uh, I've seen the system uh, in the West because I live in uh, the United Kingdom. And I've been to uh, Sweden uh, and uh, Norway and uh, I've seen that. They've got a lot of uh, mineral resources, but the basic thing is it is, it is the people that will decide uh, what sort of uh, 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 government they want and uh, what sort of people they elect. It will be uh, one man, one vote. And uh, there will be rule, rule of law. And uh, as far as the social system is concerned, I'm, uh, I think uh, we've learned a lot. And uh, even uh, the Baloch who are uh, uh, in uh, the Western uh, world today uh, on asylum. And uh, I think uh, the same uh, sort of uh, system will be implemented in uh, that part of the world also, in which the government will take care of everyone who needs uh, a medical or a shelter or uh, uh, clothing and everything, whatever is in, like, I, I, I especially stated these three countries, but there is just <coughs> another country of the world also. There's a very good uh, social system, and I think that will take care of it. Language or what language or languages and in terms of um, faiths, in terms of religions? Basically, we, we, we were a country 700 years. We've lived there on this land thousands of years. Uh, one of my forefathers in 1365 uh, joined uh, the tribes together and they formed the first state in 1365 and that continued we had a different religions in our uh, uh, in Baluchistan there were fire worshippers there is a, a, a sect of uh, I can't say Islam but a sect called Zigris they got their own uh, what can I say uh, Kaaba in uh, a place called Makra mm -hmm. and uh, there were Jews, uh, uh, even till my great grandfather's time there were Jews who were Judas, they, they are Hindus, they are Sikhs and uh, I think uh, we always, the Baloch has kept religion separate from the government and everyone is to their religion. Nobody has forced in this 700 years any Baloch government or people uh, have ever forced uh, their uh, uh, Islam on any uh, religion. And I've named you several. And I think you can uh, go and have, do a uh, survey about it. And since Pakistan has come in the past 20 years, they have done quite a bit. They've uh, uh, like uh, picked up people for ransom, especially from the Hindu and Sikh community. Uh, community. They've killed uh, uh, people or forced uh, Islam on the Zigris. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the only organization that was allowed to uh, visit uh, an earthquake which was in Awara was the, uh, no Western organization, no aid organization was allowed, only one organization was allowed, which was, I think, uh, Jamaat of Dawa, uh, uh, I think, their founder is uh, uh, like 
declared a terrorist by the UN Security Council, I think, or the UN, or by the United States and some of the Western countries. And he's also been involved in uh, quite a bit of uh, terrorism in India also. He was the only person who was allowed to go and give and distribute aid there. And uh, there is a different, uh, because we've also uh, been around for quite some time, but the Salafi or Wabi Islam that is being preached in the past 30 years is totally different to what uh, is our belief and uh, what they are portraying, basically. Uh, Islam is a very uh, uh, open and uh, a very humble religion. It's, it's never been a youth. Through our history, through Islamic history, it has never been shoved upon someone. Uh, they've seen uh, our prophet on the way uh, of some of our uh, well, caliphs in the beginning. A lot of all the saints that preached Islam and they converted people, but it never has been converted by the barrel of a gun. Except uh, we are hearing in Balochistan and in other places of Pakistan, like in uh, Kalash Valley and Chitral and these areas, uh, they are uh, like uh, doing it with the barrel of a gun. But uh, never in the 700 years, not with the Jews, not with the because we have very small uh, population of Christians which were uh, which are in Quetta. Uh, whether it was them or the Zoroastrians or we call them the Parsis or the Hindu or the Sikhs, yes, we have protected them and whichever uh, in whichever area they live, that tribe is the protector of those people and they are also answerable uh, for it and recently uh, since uh, 2002 there has been many uh, uh, Hindus and Sikhs that were like uh, uh, forced to leave uh, Barushna because of the army and their uh, militias that are operating Thank you and thank you to all.